Hey, it's Christine Horn. Welcome to Actors Daily Bread <laughs> on location. This is episode 167. I'm out here doing my nature walk. But uh, if this is your first time watching, I want to welcome you. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. <laughs> so all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? So yeah, it's hot as all bejeebas out here. <laughs> Beautiful day in Chatsworth. But um, right now I've been walking for a couple of miles. Just needed to do a walking meditation, no music, nothing. Just kind of, just let God talk to me. Um, but right now I'm walking past this graveyard. This memorial park, rather. Let's call it that. And I could not help but think of Les Brown. Now, if you've never heard of Les Brown, do yourself a favor and just Google him, go to YouTube and thank me later. But I really had to, I had to do this video because Les Brown, if you don't know, is a world renowned motivational speaker. And he was my first foray into personal development. I had never really known anything about personal development. I knew speakers would come to my school sometimes but during that time, when I lived in Los Angeles the first time, you guys know my story, was here, not working, didn't know what the hell I was doing, depressed, you know, going through a lot of financial time and struggle. I went searching for a lot of answers. I did spiritual work and everything, but I he would just immerse myself in personal development. And um, I'm gonna stop here just for a second. And Les Brown has many popular speeches, but one specifically he talks about when you're by a graveyard, think about all the dreams that are buried in the ground. All the people that were too afraid to go for their dreams, too afraid, uh, too much self-doubt, who just didn't believe in themselves enough. And think about how many dreams went to the grave without ever being recognized. And that struck me so much. Now I've always been a driven person, but at the time when I was receiving that, I felt at my lowest. I felt like I was at a rock bottom with career, with relationships, everything. And I took that to heart and I said, my dream will not be deferred in that graveyard, in that memorial. Let me get out the sun because it's real hot right there. <laughs> and I just never forgot that. And so as I walk by, A, I want to publicly thank Les Brown for being a huge, having a huge impact on my life and countless others I know. But I wanted to do two things. A, hip you to Les Brown if you don't know. And B, put a seed in you, plant a seed in you that if there is something that you have not gone for, and I'm going to speak to my actors because, you know, this is Actors Daily Bread. If you have not been going as hard as you know you really desire, what's stopping you? Don't let this happen. Because your, your dream, your, your version of acting success does not have to look like mine. It does not have to look like your friends. For you, you may be so filled and fueled by doing community theater, by doing short films, producing your own work, doing one gig a year. You get to decide what that is. You get to decide, no one else. But don't let another sun set without you doing something for yourself when you know in your heart that's what you want. Don't let fear, doubt, worry, fear of judgment, fear of, you know, all the things that are going on up here, don't let that stop you. You know, my book, Playing Small, comes out on August 1st. I'm so excited to share it with you and with the world. And it's really all about how to maintain and master this so that you can have all the desires of your heart. So that's, I'm, I need to keep walking because uh, my, my, actually my little timer's, that, mm, I stopped and I was messing up my, my uh, heart rate. <laughs> but have an amazing day and I hope you receive this word with the love intended. Bye.